I'm on a uh, east southeast aspect uh, crested beet zone here. Been getting several large rumbling collapses as we're gaining elevation, but as I've gotten higher, seeing less and less of those collapses. And what I think is going on is we're getting just a thicker slab, and it's getting harder to impact that weak layer. But here, at the bottom of the weak layer, it's just sugar. It was basically falling out of the pit as I was shoveling. And here's our slab. This is all slab that formed during our big Christmas storm. It's about three feet thick right here. And do the extended column test. So you see it's still a big collapse there. This is our slab right here. It's pretty hard. It's, we're getting into one finger and hardness. And uh, that's the reason we're not getting as many collapses. The weak layer is still there. It's real super weak. Um, I did a test earlier and got it even on the easier on like 12 taps and this one was 27. But the bottom line here is that maybe we're starting to lose um, signs of instability. But if you can find a shallow spot on the slope, you can still collapse this weak layer and get this type of failure. Maybe like near a tree or um, an area that gets a little bit wind scoured. You know, right here, the slab is pretty uniform across this slope. It's below a tree line, and maybe you can get away with it, but that's, that's a gamble because you find a shallow spot on the slope, you can get this thing to collapse. Now I'm on a southwest aspect near tree line. Well, we have a thin crust. It's about a centimeter thick, and below that is facets. And this thing, column collapsed just as I was isolating it. This whole slab right here is about a meter thick. Um, same story. Harder to trigger now because it's a thick slab. But if you could collapse that little thin crust, uh, you're in for a world of hurt. Oh! Got it on the last hit. So now I'm on a slope that avalanched during this recent storm. It's getting harder to tell that just by looking around. You don't see the distinct crown line. But the snowpack here is drastically different. That's a good thing. It's about half as deep. We've got a crust near the bottom. This is when the avalanche heated up and ran. It left sort of a crusty bed surface. And then we've got about a foot and a half of new snow on there since. Don't really have avalanche concerns right here on this slope because it doesn't quite have that slab and it doesn't have a continuous weak layer. So right now in our zone you can go to low angle terrain. Slopes lower than about 33 degrees um, and that's going to be great skiing or riding. You can go into these bed surfaces. We have a lot of them around the zone right now from recent avalanches and you can feel pretty confident about that. Or the riskier alternative is you go to those slopes that still have the slab, still have that weak layer, and you're kind of risking to see whether you can avoid hitting that trigger point, that shallow spot on the slope. And if you do, it's going to be a large avalanche.